Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. Our top level here, this is level just below the uh, the roof, the tennis courts and the swimming pools and stuff like that, is nearly done. We're at a state where we're going to finish it today. We've got all the bedrooms, all the top level bedrooms, down the left and the right side. In the middle, we've got a sort of barry, loungy, chill out area. And then on the other side of the elevators, we've got the restaurant that we built last episode with the nice, beautiful chairs, very luxurious with the big chandelier in the kitchens out the back. To join it all together, to tie it all into one floor, we need to do all of these hallways. Uh, well, it's just basically one big hallway, isn't it, that sort of joins up and connects everything together. But we've already got one problem, and that's lighting. We've got a few glowstone blocks around the place at the moment. But it, it's not going to work. We're not going to be able to do the lighting of how we've done in here with chandeliers and lights down the side. I think what we're going to do is replace the entire floor with glowstone and cover the entire floor with carpets. Either one solid carpet color or a couple of colors sort of blended together. I don't really know yet. And I think that will then light up the hallway enough to be able to see everything. And then once all the lighting is done, we then put the plants and the paintings and stuff like that to then finish it off instead of doing it the other way around. So, first things first, let's make everything glowstone. I've also been working on the elevators. Uh, a little bit. I think I'll show you more of that next episode though and show you how to, to do the command block elevators that just teleport you up. They're very simple elevators but they do look pretty cool. And at the end here I'm going to go to here. I'm going to do set glowstone and then we're going to put a wall up here. There's no point going to those windows. It, we're not going to be able to blend them in in a really nice way and make them all curve around. The windows are also at the wrong height for this floor. Um, they're there mostly just for decoration, but we were right. That's going to give us plenty of light on this inside. We'll do this section. Now, I don't want to do like anything that's going to mess up any floors that I've already done, which is why I'm not doing it like all in one big foul swoop. I'm sort of doing smaller sort of sections where I know I'm not going to accidentally cover up elevators floors and stuff like that that one and then this last area now i think we can put i think we can randomize the carpet we've done it before with blocks and randomize the path i've never tried it with carpets but i think we can and we can sort of choose three different colors or however many different colors that we want and then sort of make a make a randomized pattern out of it within seconds if we get the command right that is if we don't <laughs> then it might be quicker to place it by hand but i was thinking something like let's do a test area from here to here and then let's get three carpet colors carpet let's go with a red a dark gray and a light gray the red will sort of tie everything in and give everything a little bit of color blend in nicely with the restaurant and then the greys are a more neutral colour, but they just stand out a little bit against the white walls that we have throughout this cruise ship. So 171, 7, 8 and 14. Set to, was it 171? 171, 7, 8 and 14. Set to 171, 7, 171, 8 and 171 14 now this should give us a random no set to 170 ah we have to comma 170 i i did mess this up the other time as well and then i figured it out as soon as i went off camera there we go beautiful okay we, re we removed the walls but we can do it undo Okay, it is possible. So, let's go from here. Oh, I should have clicked as well. So, we don't want to obviously remove the walls, do we? I could have done replace air as well. would have worked. 
from here all the way up. It's such a long hallway, but it's going to look so nice with all these sort of randomized carpets around. And then we do that again. Oh, yes. Oh, 100% yes. And then I think we'll red carpet that. And the same on the other side as well. Have we got any doorways here? These go nicely into the birch, so I'm not going to affect those doorways. But this doorway right here, we also have this blue part. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's much better with a nice sort of clean pan. I might have to do the same on the other side. Okay, and that's already done. So if we go over here, I'm going to do it by clicking blocks. There to there. Do the same thing. From there to there. Same thing. Oh, oh, this is so good. There. In my opinion, at least. I think this looks absolutely wonderful. Such a, a really cool way to do a floor. And takes no effort at all. Like, even if you can't do it with World Edit, this still takes no effort. You're just randomly placing down carpets in no order if you do an order and you try and pattern it it looks very repetitive especially on a scale as large as this but if you make sure you have no pattern and you make sure that you just completely make it random it looks so so good there's the blue on this side that we need to get rid of my hair i really need a haircut my usual haircut guy keeps saying yeah yeah, yeah I'll, I'll i'll do a haircut i'll do a haircut no problem and then um we both sort of keep forgetting and <laughs> <laughs> and the hair never gets cut and he's not here at the moment. He's at his girlfriend's So um, I can't I can't get my hair cut at the moment. Okay. Uh, I need to add the red on this side It's so cool that we've got like oh and there it's so cool that we've got the red as a floor in here But as a ceiling in the restaurant and then as a sort of a floor in here and it it, it, it ties everything so well together. I mean, how cool does that look? It's so bright in here. It's a beautiful amount of light in here. The ceiling, though, I think is the next thing we want to change. I like the white walls. I don't like the white roof. And there's nothing above us here. We have this huge void space. So why not utilize it by making it a different color? Now, some of me really thinks that spruce would look nice. We use spruce as the floor in that room and we've used some sort of dark coke in here i don't want to use the sandstone because i really like the sandstone sort of being a a, a feature in this room let's see what a spruce would look like let's do another test area up here now spruce i think is five colon two so if we do set five two no that's um five one there we go it's five one five two is obviously originally birch so we'll go from here all the way up now I think I like it we're not going to be able to 100% tell until we we do the whole lot from there to there oops that one I really like that imagine some green plants we'll get round to some green plants that will really add a, a sort of another color to the place that one to that one that one to that one oops that one to this one the worst thing the worst thing about having longer hair is well not not that my hair is like long long but it's just longer than what i normally have it is uh is getting out of the shower i like to get out of the shower <laughs> And my hair just to like dry instantly. I don't like having to dry it with a towel because it's just It never it goes fluffy. It never dries how it should and Usually I every morning I have a shower every morning and as soon as I get out of the shower I check emails and I check comments and I reply and all that kind of stuff that I, I missed during while I was asleep and uh, And then I record so I put my headset on and if I don't have my hat on and I put my headset on when my hair is still like a little bit damp when I take it off I have this like like 
ravine, Minecraft ravine in my head of where the hair's like dried in the, it's horrible, it's absolutely awful. So uh, that's why I usually wear a hat now when I'm recording more often than I used to um, because I don't leave a, 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 a divot in my skull <laughs> that lasts for the entire day. You can't get rid of it. I think I'm going to use cauldrons as the plant bases in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I think, grey. I always spell grey wrong in Minecraft. I'm sure it's not spelt that way. And I'm going to replace the glowstone underneath it with grey carpet. And then that allows us to put the plants on top. Maybe three tall ones in here? Yeah. There. And there. And then do the same on this side. This is like such a simple thing to do. And yet it looks so, so nice, these plants. People don't do enough plants in Minecraft. I might overdo them, but I'm compensating for all the people that don't do them at all. Down here we can have a sort of maybe a larger one. Not using cauldrons, maybe using sort of another feature like a quartz pillar. And we put them like this. And, ooh, oops. And then we grab some dirt. And we put the dirt in there as a base for the... Maybe grass. Instead of dirt. As a base for a sort of larger one to go. Like that. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, carpet along the top? On the top of here? Like a... Carpet. What carpet have we got? Like a grey carpet? Oh, I already had it on me. Yes. Okay, I can't do it on the other side because we've got the door on the other side. Unless we do it... Like two little smaller ones. One here. Oh, I see you facing wrong way. And... There. We get a little bit of frame rate issues. I think it's struggling a little bit with all the, the lighting at the moment. Has to update an awful lot of it. Like that. And then do we want to mirror the plant on the other side? Like that. I think so. I don't like to, to make symmetrical plants in general, but I think in this case, that sort of works. I also think that we need some sort of edging around the roof, like we usually do with slabs or stairs. So I think we're going to use a slab for this hallway design, but I'm not quite sure what yet. Let's have a couple of plants on the corners here. Um, Grey. That one. There, and there. That cave sound. It does it so often in here, it's ridiculous. Uh, I think we're going to have paintings and maybe tables down in, um, in the other wall spaces. Obviously, you don't want to put plants everywhere. You want to sort of uh, put plants in sort of more tactical positions. In corners, things that furniture and paintings don't look right in. So we'll go all the way down this side. Maybe we want some plants as well in the um, in the restaurant. I never thought of that last episode. Oh, well, we've got them on us. We'll do that. That one. And that one. And I think... I never used three high plants either. But I think this really works. So do we want any plants in here? We could have... I don't want to put them on the top floor because it's going to, have a, it's going to take up a lot of room. But on this bottom... Oh, what about in like this spot? there that gets a little bit in the way of the stair but i sort of don't mind it yeah 100 percent. oh that looks that looks so much better oh it always it goes to show that a room is never completed there's always something else that you can add to a room to improve it okay already this hallway is looking so much better um we want uh desks or tables at least going down some of these now so let's grab the other wool types oops wool uh, we'll put it there there and there and then i think we're going to use dark oak stairs which might also be the block that we use to do the beading potentially but mate 
it stands out just a little bit. Maybe with slabs. I don't know. We'll have to see. So, uh, we want a table, I think, starting three blocks in from the end of this wall. And we're going to do a five block long one slab. I don't think I'm going to need my one for the moment. So, we'll have that one and that one. Five block long table. And then we'll have a block of three in the middle. Oh, yeah. And then we need to replace these ones underneath with these. Again, try and keep it random. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You don't need to use all the colours. Obviously, if you use all the colours, you're starting to get like random. Um, you're starting to get sort of um, patterns, sorry, again. Okay, that's good. Like a couple of sort of longer tables in there. And then the same thing down here. Again, I'm going to go three blocks in from this window. That doorway, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And then do that one, that one, and that one. That one, and ooh, that one. Like that. And then I think one more. We'll just do over here. One, two, three, four, five. Do some red ones, some grey ones, and a red one. There we go. And those like that. So once we've got the tables in, we can then use flower pots. Can you put sunflowers in a flower pot? Oops. No, you can't. Okay. We can use some flower plots here. Now, uh, they're only in one color in this texture pack. I, I'm not clever enough to, like, add, like, um, how the adventure map world was. If you put a flower pot down, uh, depending on what block it was placed on, it was a different color. I don't know how to do that. I, I have no idea. That must be something crazy. Um, but uh, we're going to have to stick with our normal flower pot color. And we'll go with tulip, red tulips to go with the red in the floor, some white to go with the white of the walls. Maybe some white tulips as well to go with the whites of the walls. And then maybe some ferns just to go with the leaves. So we'll have a red one, we'll have a little one like that, we'll have a, that one and that one, and then a red one and another fern, because ferns are my favourite. So something like that. See, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it, down the wall? And then some paintings. Now, we can get away with some bigger paintings down here. We have the wall space for bigger ones, which is a rare thing, because you never really get to use them, usually. I'd like a bigger one. How come you never get a bigger one when you want a bigger one? I think I need to do it on this level, don't I? Oh, yeah, it's a better level anyway. There's the KFC one. No, we did need it on a level up, that one. Perfect. And another one, I think, right... Oh, that was actually not a bad one. No, not KFC, not KFC. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's what I was talking about, was it, last episode? About getting, like, a really weird... Ooh, Mike, a, a really weird painting. Where you're not meant to. Come on, we want... No. I don't really mind what it is, as long as it's sort of big, but doesn't touch the ceiling. We don't want them too big. I'm going to do uh, ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, just at the nick of time. Okay, and then we'll have um, shelves. We can do shelves down that wall, I think, would work. I think I like paintings down here. We can have some perfect, perfect, nope, 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 too big, nope, perfect, See, that looks pretty nice. And then down the other wall, we're going to go with... Um, I don't think I need string. I think I can just go with some carpet. Um, I think maybe just light dark grey, just so it really does stand out. And then... We put some in like this. Oops. So it's two blocks in for me. I think I've got a hair in my eye. Told you, need a haircut. Two blocks in between either door. And this one. And I think we've really dressed this hallway up beautifully. There. And here. And a couple more. Oops. That one. And the, each one seems to be six blocks. Um, six blocks long, each shelf. Which is a really nice number. Really nice length. And there we go. Look at that. A, a really nice hallway. Now, uh, just to finish off, we want... Do the slabs stand out enough to be worthwhile doing? Oh, I think they are. 
I didn't think they would be. But let's put these coming back here. Oop, I missed one. I saw the gap. And then... How long is this hallway? There we go. Just wrap around the side for the moment. All the way back down this end and come back. Let's, let's just give us a, a test area. We don't need to worry about any lighting in the ceiling because we have plenty light enough. Lighting in the floor in Minecraft is the best way to go. It's almost the only way to go because light doesn't travel far enough otherwise. Light only travels seven blocks, which in a, in a building like this, you know, in a place like this, isn't far enough. Um, it should go further. Light should travel further. Okay, that gives us a good... Look at that! Look at that! Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, that is going to do it, though, for this episode. I think this looks so nice. So wonderful. I shall finish off the uh, the rest of it off camera with all the other shelves. But if you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode, because this floor is now complete. We're going to have to start somewhere else.